Hey guys, welcome back to another Shopify tutorial and in today's tutorial I am going to be showing you guys how you can set up your Shopify's collection in your store to show only available items in stock. Um, so let's say if you have another product that they are sold out on your store and when your customers visited your store they will see that this item is out of stock. So what I'm going to show you today is to hide those products that they are saying out of stock and show only products so if you want to know how to do this and make sure you stick around until the end of this tutorial so you can know how to do that the process is very easy very simple and quick and it will it won't take so much time so before we jump in today's video please don't forget to give me a big big thumbs up subscribe on my channel for more tutorial like this and leave me a comment down below to let me know what do you think about today's tutorial or if you have any video recommendations you would want me to do it for you guys let me know down below on the comment section and without further ado let's jump in today's tutorial so in today's tutorial I am going to show you how to hide out of stock products and to do that let's click preview so we can view our Shopify store so this is my Shopify store and I'm using the Venture Shopify free theme. If you want to know how to customize your Venture Shopify theme, I'll leave the link down below so you can customize your Shopify store. So what we are trying to do, we are trying to get rid of something that is on our collection. So this is my collection. I have coffee cup collection, coffee spoon, clear cups. Like I have different collections. So for example, here on my homepage, this is my homepage. And I have several products, um, several collections. This product is staying sold out. So I'm going to try to get rid of this from appearing on my homepage as well as on my catalog selections. So if we click catalog there, you can see here I have a sold out. So I am going to get rid of the sold out on my product catalog and my homepage um, product selection here. So, so let's go back on our Shopify dashboard or Shopify homepage here. And to do that, we are going to click products and then we are going to click collection. Then click right on the collection of the product that they are saying sold out. So we have coffee cups here. This is the collection that was saying sold out so once you get here let's go straight on our condition section here and you can see um condition of my collection here is um coffee mug and uh the product must match all condition so let's click uh so now let's exclude all the sold out product that has this kind of condition and all we have to do is come here on the condition section and add a new condition and add another condition so let's click add another condition and let's select a condition that we want to add so now let's select inventory stock so after selecting the inventory stock let's click here zero okay and then after that let's click save so now let's go back to our online store and click the i think so we can preview our our store okay and we had a sold out before and now we don't have it it's not sold out and if we go to the catalog here you will see it is still saying sold out but we don't have a sold out um, product available right now here so these changes that we did is only on the collection page so this is our collection page here if we click back on the catalog on our product section you'll see the sold out product is still showing and it and this is because of the setup on our store the way we set up our product page um, is very different let's fix this as well let's go back to our shopify admin page and now let's go to the product and then let's go to the collection okay then click create collection for 
everything so let's click here create a new um collection and type your collection title i'm going to type it as all and it's up to you to put a description and then let's come here on the collection type so on the condition here let's pick a condition and this will be a product price okay product price and this will be is greater than zero dollar okay and then let's add another condition and this will be inventory stock and the inventory stock should be is greater than greater than zero so this will include all our product on our store as long as they have pricing and they have um stock so then let's click save okay and now let's go back uh we can still we still have it there let's refresh our page and see if it's gonna be there boom now it's not there the sold out product is not available on our catalog section as well as our um main menu or our home page section so another trick that i'm going to show you um let's go back on our shopify home page and let's click here on the online store and then let's click navigations and then let's go to the main menu here let's click main menu and right here um where it says catalog we are going to edit this so let's click edit and instead of doing all products here we're going to select um the collection that we created so let's click collections and click all because that was the collection that we created so this way we can control when um sold out products are gone from the store so this will help a lot so um once you're done click apply changes and then click save so your main menu um will be saved now let's go back on our online store again let's refresh it okay so this is how you can get rid all your sold out or out of stock product on your home page as well as on the catalog section so as you can see the process is very easy very simple and very quick um it doesn't take so much time so yeah guys that is how you can get rid of your out of stock product on your shopify store thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure you um subscribe on my channel give me a big big thumbs up um leave me a comment down below if you have any question or if you have any video uh request you want me to do it for you guys leave me a comment down below on the comment section and that's it for today's guys thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next tutorial